Hello, let's do two minute cases and the topic will be rice bodies. So we have here a fluid sensitive images with fat suppression on the axial and sagittal oblique of the shoulder. And we see that there is this tension on the glenohumeral joint as well as the subdeltoid slash supracromial bursa extending into the subcronical bursa. And this distension has several regions that look very, very high on the fluid sensitive image, which is mostly consistent with fluid. But then there are other regions which are intermediate in synal intensity, and that is related to synovitis, both in the bursa as, as well as in, within the joint. And we don't know if this synovitis is acute or active, or if it's chronic because there is no contrast in this exam. But we also see in the dependent portion of the bursa that there are some bodies here, and these are rice bodies associated to the extensive synovitis that we see here in this examination. So we have here coronal and axial images, again, fluid sensitive with fat suppression. And we see that there is massive distension of the subdeltoid bursa, right? The deltoid is here, so it's underneath the, the deltoid. And subacromial underneath the acromion, as well as distension of the glenohumeral joint with synovitis at the axillary recess. And the inferior aspect that we see in the axial images, we see the biceps tendon, the humerus, Again, the deltoid, subdeltoid bursa with a lot of fluid synovitis and all these bodies that look like rice. This is what's called rice bodies. Rice bodies are classically described with rheumatoid arthritis, but can be seen with tuberculous arthritis, other infectious arthritis, and juvenile arthritis. The differential diagnosis is synovial chondromatosis, but keep in mind that rice bodies are classically described as a sequela from inflammation of the synovium and synovia chondromatosis is actually a metaplastic uh, condition. So they're kind of different, but they look very similar if you see them surgically. So rice bodies, always remember rheumatoid arthritis, tuberculosis arthritis, and the differential diagnosis would include synovial chondromatosis. Thank you.